Hello there merchant partner. In today's topic, we will be covering menu management in the Hubbo admin portal. For best experience, access your admin portal using a laptop or computer for a better resolution. To log in for your admin portal, open your internet browser and search admin.hubbopost.com. Signing in by entering registered email and your password. Once you are in, you will be able to see your dashboard. Click on the top left navigation toolbar to view available features in the admin portal. Click on Merchant Management and choose Menu from the drop-down. If you are currently editing menu via the Business app, click the Continue Here button to start using the menu template. The menu template in the admin portal is an alternative way to amend your menu. If you have more than one Outlook, this is the best way to amend your menu in bulk. Before using the menu template, please note that certain cells are formulated. Please ensure your internet browser is logged in with a Gmail account. Do not cut and paste or drag and move as this will affect the formatting in Google Sheets which might lead to errors arising. Do not delete any of the items, instead, items that are no longer available can be disabled, set enabled column 1 greater than 0. Once the items are imported, please do not delete them, as this will affect the menu item ID in the system's backend, which might affect accounting and auditing processes. Do not clear the existing formatting, for example, adding new columns to the sheet. The Google Sheet has been formatted to be used by everyone. Clearing any pre-existing formats will affect the formatting. Avoid using comma, underscore, and dot symbols in the menu template. Step 1. Under the Product Category Sheet, in column B, list all your category names first. Step 2. List your main item name in column B. In column D, set the item price. Set the category to which those main items belong in column E. If you have a dedicated printer for printing those specific items, set the available printer in column F. Don't forget to upload your item photo to attract customers. Do note that the photo requirements to upload the photo are in JPEG, PNG format. For better resolution, Photos must meet these requirements for a maximum of 200 kilobytes at 400 by 400 pixels. Step 3. The advanced setting is the extension setting from step 2. Advanced settings consist of adding printer options, SKU code numbers, item types, sorting item priority, short and long item descriptions, docket names, customized chargeable packaging fees, SST configuration, and many more. You can also set those items to be offered on different integrated e-commerce platforms and customize each item's price in columns A, A to A, N. Step 4. If you have add-on items that can be offered together with your main item, list those in the add-on category sheet. In this sheet, create the add-on category name first. For example, choice of sauce or sweetness level for your drinks. And then set the allowed quantities for customer to order. Customize the category sequence by inserting the sorting number. Assign the dedicated printer station to print out a specific item. Step 5. List all available add-on item names in the add-on sheet. If those add-on items have charges, don't forget to set the chargeable price. For example, a base price cup of coffee is 5 ringgit, with an extra milk charge of 1 ringgit, the final price will be 6 ringgit. Set to which add-on category that item will be nested in column E. You can also set those items to be offered on different integrated e-commerce platforms and customize each item's price in columns J onwards. Insert the stock keeping unit number to monitor your inventory movement. Step 6. To make your add-on item appear as an option to your main item, link those in the add-on linking sheet. In this sheet, the previously preset items from step 2 and 4 will be visible if you do them correctly. In column C onwards, click the drop-down menu to choose the add-on category. Step 7. Navigate to the product category time to customize the available timing. 
For example, the menu of the day, which is only available on Monday, or the lunch hour menu start at noon until 2 p.m. Set those times in columns B, 2, E. Step 8, if you have additional printer stations, add their names. The relevant sheet database will be updated in accordance with the addition or deletion of accessible printer stations. For example, kitchen printers, bar printers, and counter printers. The last step would be uploading the completed menu template. Before uploading, it is best for you to review first. Click the menu preview button at the top. However, previewing menus will only be applicable for dine-in menus and not for delivery menus. If there are no changes needed, click the import menu button. Wait a few seconds until the success window appears. For more information about Hubble Guides, check out the other topics covered. Thank you.